Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and 3M. The Nissan Pathfinder has an identity crisis. While always a capable family-sized SUV, Nissan couldn't decide on its core DNA. The first generation was truck-based with a body on frame. The second used a more car-like, unitized chassis. The third went back to truck. And now the all-new fourth generation Pathfinder switches again, and this time its front and all-wheel drive DNA seems permanent. So, let's see if the new genetics puts Pathfinder on a course for higher sales. In Nissan's tug of war between body on frame and unibody, it's really no surprise the unitized chassis is the winner for the 2013 Pathfinder. Very few buyers want or need a super rugged seven passenger family hauler anymore. And besides, there's still the ladder frame five seat Xterra SUV for more serious off road wandering. The vast majority of today's mid sized three row utility buyers are far more interested in comfort, room, and a high driving position. So for them, the new Pathfinder has all the right specs. Compared to last year, it's actually bigger in every dimension except height. Although behind the wheel, it feels smaller, which is always a good thing, no matter which member of the household is doing the driving. And aids like available around view backup cam further lighten stressful situations. Nissan's latest CVT automatic transmission has a wider spread of ratios than before for better efficiency. We don't mind it as much as we thought we would, though if you're new to CVTs, it does take a while to get used to the additional engine noise. Making that noise along with 260 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque is Nissan's familiar 3.5 liter V6, which replaces last year's 4 liter. A V8 is no longer available, and with that, towing takes a hit from last year's 7,000 to a still class normal 5,000 pounds. A smaller engine and more efficient CVT mean considerably improved government fuel economy ratings. Front drive ratings are class best, but even our all-wheel drivers, 19 city, 25 highway, and 21 combined, are near the top. We averaged a good 22.3 miles per gallon of regular and mixed driving. So it does appear that the new Pathfinder is better in every way that matters. Just don't take it on the Rubicon, and we didn't. But we did run it down our test track, and despite a sloppy launch, we were able to hit 60 in a respectable 8.4 seconds. It's all steady engine noise and acceleration, with a quarter mile passing in 16.5 seconds at 88 miles per hour. Braking performance was slightly more impressive, halting the 4,400 pound Pathfinder in a short average of 124 feet. We were expecting the more car-like approach to show its biggest benefit in the handling department. And while it is indeed surprisingly nimble with not a lot of body roll, it is also the softest sprung Pathfinder we've ever driven. Combine that with traction control that is all too eager to become a safety nanny, and this Pathfinder is all about tranquil traveling. But it's inside where the new Pathfinder has changed the most. It's gone from cramped and utilitarian to spacious and plush. The level of luxury equipment available is staggering and not far off the Infiniti JX that it's based on. Platinum trim models come with heated and cooled front leather seating, Bose premium audio with 13 speakers, navigation, power rear liftgate, and remote start. You can go further by adding the Platinum Premium Package, which enhances rear seat enjoyment with dual 7-inch DVD displays in the headrest and dual panorama sunroof. Like the JX, third row access is great and all seats offer true comfort for real adults. Storage capacity goes from 16 cubic feet behind the third row to 79.8 cubic feet with all seats folded. And there's additional storage space under the floor. Styling reviews from our crew are mixed, but the easygoing lines and swollen fenders do portray a modern version of solid presence. 
The front end is now in step with other Nissan crossovers with a large chrome trim grille as the centerpiece. Standard wheels are 18s, go platinum, and you'll ride on 20s. But for all of its newness, pricing remains good and competitive, starting at $29,495, while the loaded up Platinum model goes for $40,395. All wheel drive can be added to any trim level for $1,600 more. Despite losing towing capacity and ruggedness, we were very impressed with the new Mission 2013 Nissan Pathfinder. It is a vastly improved family crossover with a big jump in versatility. That's why we selected it as our driver's choice winner as best large utility of the year. The new Pathfinder has clearly taken a path that leads to happier families and likely bigger sales for Nissan.